And today was the first day crews were back at the Lamine River searching for the remains of a missing Columbia mom. Authorities just left that area in search for the remains for Munchie G. ABC 17's Zach Boetto spent the day at the river speaking with authorities since 9 this morning. Zach, authorities have been searching the river on and off since November of last year. Hey Deb, for nearly a year now, crews have been searching in this exact location, and today they were back to search for Meng Chi Ji, and it's the first time that they've been back in months. Now, crews in the last couple of hours were using these two massive excavators right here to dig up that levee, and they had investigators looking through that debris that they dug up and left on the bank. Now, I spoke with CPD Assistant Chief Jeremiah Hunter today, who told me that they're back here at the Lamine River because the river water levels are low and they're trying to find her. Meng Chi Ji has now been missing for over a year. The prime suspect, Joseph Elledge, Meng Chi Ji's husband, who has been charged with murder as well as child abuse, both linked to this murder investigation. Since November of last year, police have searched an area of the Lamine River under the Highway 41 bridge where human detection dogs have continued to pick up a scent and today told the same story. As we told you last Thursday in an ABC 17 Investigates special report, the police department has spent $28,478.78 on this levy search project, around half of the $50,000 budget. Today, crews had two large excavators digging up debris and rocks from the levy, then had scouts looking through that debris. After that, they followed up with the dog that specializes in picking up the scent of human remains. The dog was doing plenty of signaling from the bow of the boat, but today no remains were reported found. And Deb, like I said a minute ago, crews wrap things up here within the last hour, and it looks like they will be back tomorrow. Reporting live from the Lamine River, Zach Boetto, ABC 17 News. All right, Zach, thank you. Now, the Boone County Prosecutor's Office says the murder trial has not been scheduled yet. Elledge is set to have hearings on both charges on November 30th. Today is the second day of Judge Amy Coney Barrett's Supreme Court confirmation hearing. Lawmakers question the nominee on everything from health care to abortion. ABC's Andrew Dimbert has the latest on today's hearing and what's to come. Today, lawmakers getting their first crack at questioning President Trump's Supreme Court nominee, Judge Amy Coney Barrett. Do you commit to recusing yourself from any case arising from a dispute in the presidential election. I do assure you of my integrity, and I do assure you that I would take that question very seriously. Democratic senators arguing that Barrett serving on the nation's highest court will do 